Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 9th of 2021. Well, it is titled M16 close up. So what do we see here? Well, this is M16 known as the Eagle Nebula. And we can see a great bit of detail here looking at gas and dust and stars. And the image is looking at what is called the Hubble palette of colors, which is looking at the emission of three different elements in the Hubble uh, scheme and then color coding them into three different colors. So it's not necessarily a true color image, but does highlight the emission of those specific three atoms. Now when we see this we see a cluster of stars uh, which is up towards the upper left hand side you can see a lot of hot stars there bright stars and we can see a lot of dust scattered around and very famously we see towards the center of the image what is known as the pillars of creation and note how they seem to point out to those stars and that is because it is actually the stars that are forming them. The pillars were once a denser region of dust like some of the others that we see. But over time, the energetic radiation and stellar winds have eaten away at them, leaving only the densest parts behind. So those densest parts now point towards those stars. And within those we are actually under uh, uh, what is happening is star formation is going on and new stars are forming. So while we see a cluster there, it is not yet finished forming and new stars are still forming within the pillars of creation, as well as all those dark dusty knots that you see scattered around. Those are denser areas that the stars were unable to eat away. And we see that for example, in a flood, you will see certain areas will get eaten away easily with less dense rock, less solid rock or materials that can be easily washed away. And the denser parts remain behind Well, we're seeing those denser parts. And could we zoom inside them and look into those knots in the infrared part of the spectrum, which penetrates the dust, we would be see protostars stars in the process of formation. So this cluster is still forming well, while some of the stars have already formed that stars or star formation is still going on within this cluster and will continue for a good time to come. Now the cluster is about 7000 light years away. So it hasn't changed a whole lot in that time most likely. Even those massive stars don't usually change a whole lot in 7000 years. But remember that means that we see it not as it is today but as those stars were about 7000 years ago. So stars are still in the process of formation but 7000 years in star formation is a very short period of time and likely very little has changed in this. Although we will not know for sure for 7000 years until the light that is leaving these stars today reaches us here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for September 9th of 2021. It was titled M16 close up. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Rosetta's return. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.